Hello, it's Jim Games here again, and this is the part two of the um, hands weapon sway system. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, first, I actually want to fix one thing that someone asked on the comments. He asked why or how can we fix the shadow that only sh shows the hands. And it can be fixed pretty easily. We can go here and get the hand smash. And actually, we can just go to here, cast shadow, and get it off. And the weapon mesh. And here also, uh, where is it? Cast shadow like this. And now you should be able to see any shadows of the player. And on the later episodes, we will uh, create the um the 3d like character here also that we cannot see through our camera but you can see the shadow from it so because now we only have this first person hands and if we add here I don't know if we have the, any meshes here that oh but if we have like third person mannequin or something we can add it here but yeah uh, we will do it on the later episodes but yeah on this one we want to continue with this weapons way system okay so yeah so first we actually have to get from the walls and add a another branch to here and the branch now we have to get the uh, ads timeline Get is playing. Oh, sorry, it's only is playing. This and if not playing. Oh, sorry. If not playing, then we can start adding the code, which will be somehow the same that. On the on here, but not completely, and a little bit more uh, advanced or a little bit longer. This is pretty simple code, but now we will create the one that's a little bit different and harder. So yeah, get IA look. I cannot uh, write, but yeah, let's split it, split this, and now we want to multiply it again. Multiply like this x and now we want to copy this here now we want to get the max way degree ads oh we have to get it not set it and yeah now we want to connect to here and to here here like we did on the last episode and then we want to actually here we want to mm, multiply this one, and we want to multiply it by minus one. So basically, just uh, revert it, or how you say it, like make the positive values negative. Okay, and then we want to get the final rotation ADS, which is here, and we want to set it. And now from the true, we want to set it like this. Now we want to split this. Now we just want to connect the X to the. Mm, if I remember correctly, it was S to Z. X to Z, which sounds weird, but I think it was like that. Then we want to connect the, uh, this Y to Y, and we want to connect this one to the X. Okay. Components there. And now we can just go here, get the rela uh, set relative relative rotation and to the hands mess, hands mess. And let's just copy it to here so it's easier. And let's connect this to uh, there. Like this. And now it's okay. Now it's good. Now from there, we want to um, here from here, we want to. R interp 
two, like here on the top, same same thing. And now the thing that we want to do is um, actually we want to connect this uh, hand mesh get related relationship uh, rotation. We want to connect it to the current to here, like same way as on here. And now we want to split this, and actually we want to connect to delta time also to here. And compile and save. Now we have to create the code for the uh, for this. Okay. So yeah, we want to get the uh, FPS mesh transform ADS. We want to split it. I want to split the rotation. Like this. Then we want to get the final rotation ADS. Oh, not this one. Fa final rotation ADS. Get it and split it. And now, hmm, how was it? We want to actually we want to make rotator again. Here. And now we want to get from the Y plus. Add to a Y from here, and now we want to connect it to Y, just like this. And now from the X, we want to get the X, and from here also, and connect it to the X. And from the set, oh, I think it was like this. We want to go, and we only need to connect to x, x to x, to, and y to y. And to, I think it was like this. Sounds correct in my mind. And now we want to split this. Now we want to. Clamp float like this. We want to copy it, past it, and past it three times. Collect all these here. And now we want to also connect um, all these to here to x to x, y to y, and z to z. I think it was like this. And now for these values, we have to, uh, I think we have to get this FPS mesh transform ADS location. So FPS mesh transform ADS and split and split the rotation. And now from the X, we want to minus and plus. And now we actually want to copy these three times. This and this. And now we want to connect the Y to here, to minus and plus. Oh, sorry, this was not right. To set to here, here. Now we want to connect this to the uh, uh, min value and this to the max. This to the min, this to the max. This to the min, this to the max. This is actually pretty simple if we think it. It just sounded in my head more. Uh, like uh, hard, but this is actually pretty easy. Not easy, but not as hard uh, as I remembered. But yeah, now for the values, I I think I used before uh, 0 0.03, and for here also 0 0.03, and for the y I used 0.25. 0.25, and here I think it was like 2, if I remember correctly. And now let's see what happens when we ADS. If we look normally, it works. If we ADS, uh, it is lagging so much. Oh, what is happening? Let's check. Oh, we forgot to forget to. 
forgot to uh, select the interrupt speed. I'll make. I think it was six for me. No, I hope it works. Oh, it looks so good. Actually. I think the X values are, for some reason, inverted. I like that the uh, uh, middle point of the scope goes first, not like it comes after. Not good. I will check. And now let's check why it does that. Oh, I think I remember. We actually want to go to the max weight degree ADS, and we want to make this uh, negative. Or if you like that the uh, weapon's way goes like it went before, then you can put it positive, make uh, leave it positive. But now I like that the scope goes like first, or you can see the middle point. It turns to the uh, direction we are turning. Like this looks so nice. And up, it doesn't turn much, but it you can see from the gun that it works. Now if we look like this, everything should work. Pretty nice. I actually think I did this way system better than uh, on my own game that I'm creating. I think this this looks better actually for some reason I don't know yeah uh, what else should we do actually we can um, we have to do one thing if we want to add more weapons later that doesn't use the same uh, socket on the um, on the skeleton so first let's go to the BP First person character, do the hand mesh. Let's find the mannequin arms skeleton. Uh, this one, we want like this. And for now, we have this gun socket here. I actually want to rename the so socket to uh, with the gun name, like AR14, like this. Okay. AR. SK AR4. What? Oh, I have always thought that, that this weapon was AR-14. Sorry, I'm not from the US, so I don't know that much about the about guns. AR-4. Okay, it is AR-4. Now we actually want to... Where was it? Mm. Oh, those animations uh, that we did, or the static pose. We want to also change this name to AR4 because why not? If it's like this. <laughs> and what were what, what we doing? Oh, we are, have to go back here and to the set weapon stats. We actually want to. Oh, we have to go to the weapon struct. Add variable here, which we should. Call like mm -hmm. uh, socket name, socket name, and we have to change this to name. Okay, save, go back. Now we want to go to the weapon data table, and here we want to call this socket name AR4. Okay, save, and let's go back to here. And now we actually have to copy this code and move it. And we want to get it from here. We want to promote it to a variable. And I again want to remove this weapon data from the start. Actually, I don't know if I want to do that, but yeah, it can be like that. And then we want to copy this again to here like this and now we want to 
get the socket name, or you can just get it from here, you know, but I like to do it like this, so it looks a little bit cleaner. And now, when we have done that, we want to go back to here, and we want to actually remove all this, and put this here on the start. And now the weapon should be on the same position that it was before, and it should work. But now if we uh, change to the second weapon, it will not show it, because we don't have uh, set the weapon socket name for it. Yeah, we can do all those later, but everything looks actually pretty nice. If you have some suggestions that we that what that uh, what you want to uh, or what you want that we do on the next episodes, please leave them on the comments. I have some kind of things in mind, but you can always tell me what you think, so we can maybe implement those. But yeah, I think this was all for this video. If you like the content, please click the like button and subscribe if you want. And yeah, I think I create one more video today. Uh, I don't know what it's about yet, but yeah, let's see. So yeah, let's see you on the next one. Bye.